All right, let's get into it. Question number one, do you have any hidden talents? Actually, this is kind of funny. If you ever go out to eat with me or we hang out, I'll remember every single thing that you ordered and what we were drinking that day. Like, that's the thing that I remember from really any social interaction that I have. It's like, what was the food? And I will always remember and be able to bring it up even years later. Okay, question number two. If you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? My dream vacation would be definitely somewhere tropical with lots of animals and sunshine. I love flamingos, so hopefully flamingos will be present and hopefully my favorite people would be there. That would be my dream vacation. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Sushi. I actually went to this place a few days ago that had the best sushi ever. So I would pick, it was like a sushi tasting menu where we had a bunch of different courses of sushi and different appetizers and dessert and it was the most amazing meal of my life and to be honest, I would probably repeat that. If I was stranded on an island and could only take three objects, what would they be? Easy. Firstly, I would bring the eight book collection of Harry Potter because that would definitely keep me busy and entertained for long periods of time. I would bring my comfy, snuggly, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like this big pajama hoodie. It's like a one piece, really soft thing that you wear around the house and it's so comfortable and I wear it all the time when I'm not filming and I absolutely love it. So that would be another thing I'd bring. And finally, I would bring sunscreen because if it's a deserted island, there's gonna be a lot of sun and you gotta protect your skin. <laughs> what are your favorite movies of all time? This is like kind of predictable for me, I feel like, but I love chef cooking movies. I'm obsessed with them. My favorite would be Ratatouille. That's just a classic. And I watched it as a kid and I've watched it a bunch of times ever since. And the movie just gets me going every time. I absolutely love it. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? This actually happened really recently. I just moved into a new apartment. And as I was moving from the old place to this place, I packed a bunch of suitcases with my kitchen equipment and I took this big suitcase with the kitchen equipment out onto the street and I was waiting for a taxi and all of a sudden I hear this big ripping noise and this humongous clatter and literally all my pots and pans and knives and plates and everything came crashing out onto the street everywhere and it just made such a mess and thankfully there were nice people that saw this happen and they came to help me pack up the suitcase but the suitcase completely ripped and it was such a disaster. So thank you to those people that helped me, but it will definitely stick out in my memory as one of my most embarrassing moments. Okay, wait, what is something most people who follow you don't know about you? So I speak four languages. My parents are from Belarus, so I speak Russian and then English because I was born in America and I also speak Spanish and a little bit of French, which I learned in school. What's your favorite video that you've ever posted? I would say that every single time I post, my videos get better because I'm constantly learning and improving based off the last video. So my most recent videos are always my favorite. And I just recently posted a chocolate chip cookie video that I absolutely loved and the cookies came out so good. And I made ramen the other day and waffles. And what else did I, okay, yeah, those were the most recent videos and I had a lot of fun with that. And they're my favorites. Oh, I also made bruschetta. The bruschetta came out so good. When did you first go viral? I first went viral a few years ago, right at the beginning of the pandemic. I posted a video making sweet potato tortillas. And I've been posting on TikTok for months before and basically the only people that saw it were my very close friends and family. And then all of a sudden, this one video just out of nowhere went from zero to a million views overnight. And it completely kickstarted my entire TikTok content creation career after that. And I just remember it completely blowing my mind and being so excited. <laughs> Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? I absolutely love social media and I think it's gonna have a place in some way or another for the rest of my life. And I would really hope to continue creating content on social media. It's always been a dream of mine ever since I was young. But if I wasn't making social media content, I would definitely love to start a company of some kind to do something entrepreneurial or host a cooking show or some kind of TV show. And then finally, who are your role models? I would definitely have to say that my number one role model is my mom. I have looked up to her my entire life and even now we I learn something from her every time we talk and I want to be just like her when I'm older. I, I look up to her so much. So. That concludes my questions with famous birthdays. I hope wherever you are, you have a great day and 
Until next time. Bye.